Following the successful use of VAR technology at the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, FIFA President Gianni Infantino declared in the Vision 2020-23 that FIFA would strive to harness the full potential of technology in football and further enhance VAR. In the ensuing three years, FIFA has indeed continued to be at the cutting edge of technology in the game. And based on that advice, Anthony Taylor is reversing his decision. The Video Assistant Referee, or VAR, is a current or former referee appointed to assist the VAR in the video operation room. The responsibilities of the VAR include watching the live action on the field while the VAR is undertaking a check or a review to keep a record of reviewable incidents and to communicate the outcome of a review to broadcasters. And now, FIFA has announced that Semi-Automated Offside Technology, or SOAT, will be used at the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar, offering a support tool for the video match officials and the on-field officials to help them make faster, more accurate, and more reproducible offside decisions on the biggest stage of all. So, how will it work? Is it actually good, or will fans still be left feeling frustrated? Long delays, perceived inaccuracies, and a lack of confidence in the system among fans, players, and coaches. And that's just for starters. Skepticism also comes from the poor visualization of decisions, with lines placed on the pitch which cannot replace a person's own perspective of an offside decision on a camera angle. A player may look onside, but the technology says they're offside. By working with Adidas and various partners, and especially with the Working Group for Innovation Excellence and Technology Providers, FIFA has spent the last few years further improving the VAR system, including the use of semi-automated offside technology. Right now, the VAR can only use the broadcast TV cameras to make an offside decision. The new technology uses 12 dedicated tracking cameras mounted underneath the roof of the stadium to track the ball and up to 29 data points of each individual player, 50 times per second, calculating their exact position on the pitch. The 29 collected data points include all limbs and extremities that are relevant for making offside calls. The official World Cup match ball, the Adidas Al Rila, will provide a further vital element for the detection of tight offside incidents, as an inertial measurement unit, or IMU, sensor will be placed inside the ball. This sensor, positioned in the center of the ball, sends ball data to the video operation room 500 times per second, allowing a very precise detection of the kick point. By combining the limb and ball tracking data and applying artificial intelligence, the new technology provides an automated offside alert to the video match officials inside the video operation room whenever the ball is received by an attacker who was in an offside position at the moment the ball was played by a teammate. Before informing the on-field referee, the video match officials validate the proposed decision by manually checking the automatically selected kick point and the automatically created offside line, which is based on the calculated positions of the player's limbs. This process happens within a few seconds and means that offside decisions can be made faster and more accurately. After the decision has been confirmed by the video match officials and the referee on the pitch, the exact same positional data points that were used to make the decision are then generated into a 3D animation that perfectly details the position of the player's limbs at the moment the ball was played. This 3D animation, which will always show the best possible perspectives for an offside situation, will then be shown on the giant screens in the stadium, and will also be made available to FIFA's broadcast partners to inform all spectators in the clearest possible way. The new technology will be able to support the video match officials by helping them to make more accurate and more reproducible offside decisions in a shorter period of time. The data collected during online and offline tests has been analyzed and validated by the MIT Sports Lab, with TRAC at Victoria University scientifically validating the limb tracking technology. VAR is giving and bringing more justice to the game, is making the game more clean, is helping the referees in taking correct decisions. Uh, if uh, maybe takes away the joy of some, it gives the joy to others when a decision is uh, 
changed. So the joy if you win a game is still there, but uh, I think everyone who is a sportsman prefers to win a game based on the right decision of the referee and not based on the mistake of uh, uh, a referee. This is Giovanni Infantino, FIFA's president. Right now, VAR offside has a tolerance level, or benefit of the doubt due to flaws in the process, such as accuracy and how a decision is presented to fans. That benefit of the doubt is to be removed, with decisions based upon the result delivered to the VAR. This is Pierre Luigi Colina. He was named FIFA's best referee of the year six consecutive times, and is widely considered to be the best football referee of all time. Kalina's view is that FIFA has developed a system as accurate as goal line technology. Fans trust goal line technology, so fans must also trust semi-automated offside. Kalina is confident the decisions will be accepted, but the visualization element is going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting. This is as important as any other part of this project. It was incredibly difficult for fans to visualize offside decisions. And now, they'll be able to effectively move in line with the assistant referee. FIFA says that right now, the average time for a VAR offside decision to be made across all competitions globally is 70 seconds. With the new technology, FIFA believes it can get this down to 25 seconds. 25 seconds is probably longer than those who had attended briefings through the trial process were expecting, but it still means that the majority of decisions should be reached during a goal celebration, and may limit the occasions when players and fans have to stand around waiting for the outcome. Could we get back to a situation whereby the first thought in a fan's mind is no longer the fear of a goal being disallowed or subjected to a lengthy check? And it's in the back of the net! And Ajax of Amsterdam take the lead against the holders! Courtois hero, one minute! And from that angle, it's... Well... Offside. With the new technology, that's part of the plan. It will depend if 25 seconds is enough to give fans the confidence for their spontaneous goal celebrations. Never goal in an Olympic Games. Neymar Jr. celebrates a victory that will see. That said, many checks should take place in the background without any impact. We can only really judge the psychological impact on supporters once we've seen it in action in the World Cup. We're already seeing SOAT in action in this year's Champions League, but everybody is expecting the full debut to come at the World Cup. Here's 